Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be covering how to create an email consumer. In the email consumer, we're going to add an SQS client. We're then going to add code to receive messages from our queue that we created in our producer video. We're then going to delete the message after we've received it from our queue. Okay, so let's get started creating the email consumer. So we're going to create another project. And we're going to create it as a console app. We're going to call that email consumer. We'll let that load, delete our console right line method out there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up our Amazon SQS client again. We're then going to get the queue URL. We're going to receive messages from our SQS queue, and then we're going to delete the message. So first things first, we're going to install the Amazon SQS client. So we're going to head along to Package Manager, we'll say install package, AWS SDK dot SQS. And we'll make sure we're installing that into the correct project. Excellent. Now let's pull in our client. So equals new Amazon SQS client. And we're going to use the region endpoint US East 1. Now we're going to grab the queue URL. So we're going to say SQS get queue. URL is async. We're going to pass it in the queue name that we created in the producer, which is email queue. And because this is async and we haven't added the async methods to our main, we're going to say dot result and then dot queue URL. Okay, so now we're going to read the messages from SQS. So we're going to say var receive message. Request equals new receive message request and using object initialization. We're going to say Q URL equals Q URL. So we just send the Q URL in our receive message request and we're grabbing the Q URL from up here where we grab that URL from our SQS queue. Okay, so let's say var receive message response equals SQS, which is our client, dot receive message async. And we're going to pass in the request that we just uh, that we just created above. So for visibility, I'll copy and paste that. And we'll say dot result in the end. Okay, so now we want to print out the message that we get back. So we're going to say for each because we could have one or many messages. And we're going to say receive message response messages. And we'll say message in here. And then we're going to say console right line. And the shortcut for console right line is CW tab tab. And first of all, we're going to say message. And we'll also add a backslash in so it puts every message on a new line so cw again and using string interpolation we're going to say dollar sign there i'm going to say message id and we're going to pass in the message dot message id and so remember the message we're getting from up here and then we have all sorts of properties that we can select on there. Um, and we're going to go down those and populate them in our console right line. So next one is CW again, tab, tab. Receipt handle. So the message dot receipt handle. So 
every time you receive a message from a queue, you receive a receipt handle for that message. This handle is associated with the action of receiving the message, not with the message itself. To delete the message or change the message visibly, you must provide the receipt handle, not the message ID. Thus, you must always receive a message before you can delete it. You can't put a message into the queue and then recall it. If you receive a message more than once, each time you receive it, you get a different receipt handle. You must provide the most recent receipt handle when you request to delete a message. Next, we're going to add console right line and we're going to um, add the MD5. Body. And we're also going to add the actual body of the message. Okay, we're just going to add the backslash in to each of these as well. So as I mentioned before, we're going to want to put these onto a new line. And let's for each again, because now we're going to go through the message attributes and post, uh, paste them out as well. So in here, we're going to say message dot attributes. And we'll say attribute. CW and you're starting to get the idea now so I'll just copy and paste the last two which is the name and the value okay so that will allow us to read the message so let's continue on and delete the message after we've read it. We're going to grab the message handler first, the receipt handle, and remember that's what we're going to use to be able to delete it. So we'll say equals receive message response dot messages dot And we're going to use link here, so we're going to say first or default. And we're also um, going to check for null, so we're going to question mark receipt handle. Um, so the question mark there is checking for null. So if first the default comes back as a null, then it will check for that and handle it. Okay, so let's delete the message. Delete request equals new delete message request. And we're going to say queue URL and we're going to grab our queue URL from above here again. And receipt handle. So this is how we know what message to delete. And we'll close that off. SQS, which is our client, delete message async. And we'll pass in the delete request that we just created above here. Awesome. So let's console dot read line so that we can um, we we stop our program. So let's first run our producer that we created. So we're going to right click debug start new instance and we're going to create our message on our queue. So you can see a message has been created. Let's go and confirm that though before we do anything else. So we're heading over to Amazon's AWS console. We see no messages, we'll refresh that. Now we can see a message is in flight. Let's poll for that. Cool, and the body is email information. Excellent, so let's close this and head back to our solution. And now we're going to run the email consumer, which is going to consume and then delete our message. We'll run that. Awesome, so we can see that the message we've received back has a message ID, receipt handle, MSD5 body, and the body email information. So let's stop that. And let's head back to our console. We'll refresh that. And you can see the message has now been deleted. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please remember to hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up with all my latest YouTube tutorials.